In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a second disk partition by splitting the C partition and without losing your data. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to move your user profile to the new partition so that you can protect them from any crash of the C partition. Hi, my name is Zin. Welcome to another video. If this is the first time here and you want to learn Windows, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss anything. First, what's the interest of creating a second partition? Well, there are at least two benefits to creating a second partition. The first one is to protect your data by moving them away from the Windows 10 partition. This way, if this partition is corrupted and you can't boot your computer anymore and need to reinstall Windows 10, your data won't be wiped out. The second advantage is that making a system image backup will be faster and require less disk space because the system image will not include gigabytes of personal data not necessary to restore Windows 10. All right, without further ado, let's do it. I'm going to use Minitool Partition Wizard. It's a free tool you can download from the link I put in the description. On the partition management interface, you can see that this computer contains one disk. In fact, it's a virtual machine I use for the demo. This disk contains two system partitions necessary for Windows 10 to boot and work properly. Those partitions are not visible in the Windows Explorer. Here is the C partition. It's 44 GB and the available space is 27 GB. So I can create a new partition that will not exceed 27 GB. To create a new partition, I just right click and select the split option. Minitool suggests to me a size for the new partition. I can keep this suggested size or can change it using the mouse or I can type the size in the dedicated area. I click OK. Minitool has created the partition with the E letter and the given size. For this partition to be effective, I need to validate this operation by clicking on the Apply button. I get a notice that Minitool cannot resize the partition because the drive C is in use. In this case, I need to restart the computer to complete the operation. My computer has restarted and Minitool created the partition during the Windows 10 boot. Now let's examine the new partition by opening the Windows Explorer. Now I have a second partition with the drive letter E. For now it's empty. I want to show you how to move your user's profile data from the C drive to the E drive. I'm talking about the downloads folder, documents, pictures, music and videos. To do that, click on this small arrow, then click on your profile. I'm going to select all the content except antiuser.date file and the app data folder that can't be moved. For the rest, I click on the cut button. Open the E drive. I'm going to create a new folder and name it users. Then I create inside it a subfolder and name it zin. Now I'm going to paste all my folders. Now all my folders have been moved to the new partition. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. I see you the next time.